folks, it is Super Drew here, and today is January 1st, 2015. I hope everybody had a wonderful time last night, and Happy New Year to everyone. Now, this video is going to be a little different from my other videos. This is going to be a shout-out cooking video to Will Hornbuckle. It'll become apparent in a minute what I'm talking about here. So, uh, stand by. Folks, uh, what you see here is three tablespoons of butter and I'm going to sweat down these onions. Over here I've got some butter melting and to this, whoops, sorry about that, we're going to add some mushrooms. I'm going to saute those down gently. I'm not going to fully cook them, just so soften them up a little bit. What you see here, I have some diced Yukon Gold potatoes. I have some vegetable broth and some fresh vegetables and what I'm going to be doing is making vegetable pot pies for Will Hornbuckle the vegetarian yes I've been promising you this for a long time Will and I'm finally doing it buddy I'm making a vegetarian meal just for you okay folks um, stand by and uh, I'll get all this stuff prepared and then I'll show you what the next step is okay these potatoes are about done I'm gonna pull them from the water put them in this bowl and set them to the side and then I'm gonna put these veg in there and get them blanched and uh, we'll show you the next step okay I've got the potatoes and the mushrooms done now for the difficult step I'm gonna to try to do this one-handed because I tried to get the angle with the uh, tripod and I can't get the right angle so okay like I said I've got three tablespoons of butter and onions in here and this is three tablespoons of flour. What we're going to do is we're going to make a roux. So let's see if I can do this one-handed and still get it on screen. Yeah, not bad. Okay, I'm going to let this brown a little bit and then I'm going to add the uh, vegetable broth to it. Boy, it smells really good in here, guys. All right, stand by. Okay, I've got the uh, vegetable broth added to the roux, and it's made a nice little sauce. Look at that. I'm going to put a little salt and pepper in here, and then I will add the vegetables. So, stand by. Okay, I have the potatoes, mushrooms, and vegetables added to the roux that already had the onions in it. Made with vegetable stock, no beef stock whatsoever. No chicken stock, just vegetable stock. And uh, the next step is to roll out the puff pastry dough and assemble these guys. I've got the oven preheated to 350 and uh, it's going to be one of those things where we put it in the oven and we just let it go and see how long it takes. Could be 15 to 20 minutes or so. Okay folks, stand by. Okay guys, I've got my puff pastry laid out here and I've got my beautiful marble rolling pin. I'm gonna get a little flour on there. Oh and I hope the uh, dishwasher that's running below here isn't too much of a distraction. So we're just going to roll this out a little bit. Okay. Let me grab a knife. And this is the bowl I'm going to be using. So what I'm going to do is try to cut this about an inch bigger than the bowl. Okay. See how I did that? Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'll cut a few more of these, I'll set them to the side, and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, I've got the uh, filling in the bowls. I'm simply going to place the puff pastry on top, like so. And you know, they don't have to be perfect. You see I got this one cut a little funky, but that's okay. It'll be fine. And I'm going to go ahead and put these in the oven just as they are. And uh, we'll take a look at them in about 15 minutes and see how they look. Okay, stand by. Okay, guys, I was wrong about the temperature. It's 400, not 350. Let's take a look and see what we're looking at here. Oh, yeah, look at that. I think they need a few more minutes, but they're looking good. All right, stand by. Okay, guys, it only took about uh, 12 minutes or so. And take a look at the color. Oh, it smells so good in here. 
Smells so good. Okay, look, tell you what, I'm going to let these cool off a little bit, and uh, then I'll sample one and let you know what I think. All right, stand by. Okay, guys, uh, I've uh, let this one cool off for about 10 minutes. I've got my large ice water here. So uh, stand by a second, and I'll take a taste, and I'll let you know what I think. Okay, guys, here we go. Got a little bit of the puff pastry and a little bit of the uh, vegetable filling here. Ready? Look at that, steaming hot. Hopefully I won't burn my mouth like Deep Digger Dan did. All right, ready? Oh yeah, oh yeah, you guys have got to try this. I wish I could have all of you here today to sample this, it's fantastic. Okay, folks, I hope everyone has a wonderful day and a wonderful 2015. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.